Okay, it's the next morning, and looking at the micron gauge, we're at 900 microns. And looking at the decay test from last night, as you could see from zero, zero hours, you could see where I started the pump, and I took it all the way down, and I think I took it all the way down to 10 microns, or 8 microns. You could see the, the 10 right down there, and it went just below where I shut off the vacuum valve. So then I shut off that valve last night, and now we're the next day, and somewhere around, there's four hours. Just before four hours, it hit 200 microns. The decayed of the vacuum reached 400. And then going over, there's eight hours, there's 12, somewhere in between. So right around where my shiny spot from my light is, right there, comes straight down. And it looks like you're almost 10 hours. By the time it's sat by 10 hours, the manifold vacuum decayed down to 500 microns and right now it stands at 900 microns so just the manifold by itself if you were going to use it for vacuum decay with metal lines not rubber hoses refrigerant hoses the manifold by itself and with metal lines would be capable of easily performing a vacuum decay test um, that reached, say, 200 microns within four hours. So if you're only doing a 15-minute or a one-hour vacuum decay test, you would not have to worry about the manifold it itself having leaks in it decaying to a point where you would go up to 800, 900,000 microns. But as soon as you hook up refrigerant hoses to it, regular refrigerant, you would fail miserably because refrigerant hoses were never ever made and designed to perform deep vacuum and hold it under a decay. You could get there immediately and you could reach a point, but as soon as you turned off the vacuum, it would skyrocket and you would uh, see the decay right away, which I have done other videos when you've seen my videos with the decay test and you've seen the difference between when I used rubber hoses and when I used metal hoses. Um, actually this one from the very last video from like a month ago or so I turned this off under a vacuum and when I turned it back on it was still after almost a month uh, it was still at 800 microns after a month of being turned off but holding a vacuum with inside itself that's it for this so that tells you just the manifold itself is capable of performing a vacuum decay test and I would give it up to four hours uh, that 400 micron uh, the 200 micron point as being good and so if you did a vacuum decay test and I'm going to stress again with metal lines not rubber hoses you would be able to reliably say that the gauge itself is not adding to part of your decay during that and that's only brand new what after when you turn these knobs a hundred times in and out you've done 50 jobs 20 jobs 100 jobs and you're scraping back and forth up and down that seal well you passed right now but what about a month from now without you actually testing your gauges you would never know that it's is it your gauges or is it your hoses or is it your connections your seals is it the ferrule on your hoses so this is why refrigerant manifolds are not recommended and uh, were never designed to perform uh, low vacuum decay test but if you were going to do it use metal lines not rubber hoses i'm still itching to take this apart and do the seals on it with silicone to try to see if i could get it to hold longer but i gotta say this is the first manifold I've ever had that passed this test. I've never had any of my field pieces, and I've never had any of my previous testos pass this test. So that's the update for this morning. And um, that's it. Oh, and I can't remember if I mentioned this in a video. You got old boots you spent two, almost $300 on because they're Red Wing or Throw Good or something like that. These uh, Red Wings, but they were Chinese, my, me and my son got. This is nine months. In nine months, they fell apart like this, and they're supposed to be waterproof. 
they were waterproof like the first month and uh, this is the after so what this is is this material right here the e6000 and if you're gonna throw away a pair of boots because they're starting to fall apart um, you could apply this to it and now I could use this boot another year because this material here is stronger than the sole material of the thing this is really tough stuff so once you apply this to your boots if you have real expensive boots and you don't feel like you want to throw them away because they're only a few months old um, put a layer of this and that's your tech tip to today for extending the life of your uh, used old work boots and this was only ten dollars on the internet uh, you'll use the whole tube uh, almost on one boot well it depends on how thick you put it uh, it's very runny and it self levels so buy one or two tubes do your boots that's it all right guys see you later and we now know what this gauge could do